Chief Tom Jenkins joins us now. You are the incoming president to all of this, so uh, you're no stranger, though, to this organization. And what has it meant to be being involved all these years? Well, the IAFC, is a, it's a phenomenal clearinghouse for leaders in our business. And uh, I think that while I ran for office to serve and to, to try to give back to an association that really helped me early on in my career, it still is a, just a phenomenal place for for networking and for meeting people and for making a difference. And uh, while it's the beginning of the presidential term this Saturday, it's it's uh, still a little bittersweet because I realize that uh, it'll go by in the blink of an eye. So I, I'm excited to be here and I hope we uh, do some good things over the coming year. Any specific ideas uh, as far as what you're hoping to accomplish? Well, we've, we've ha really had an internal focus um, for the most part the last couple of years. We've had to look at our own governance and the way in which our federation model, our divisions and sections is organized. And that was a very worthwhile conversation. And um, while we had some struggles and, and there was uh, a lot of good and healthy and productive debate, now my focus is to look outward, that, that we're here to serve fire chiefs and by virtue of that serve the communities that, uh, that, that, that are, you know, make up our fire departments and that we're sworn to protect. And so uh, this coming year, I wanna make sure that we're giving fire chiefs the tools they need to be successful. The job of a fire chief is, uh, you know, it's diverse and complicated these days. And so we have a lot of work to do uh, and that, that, can, that can vary um, both with the educational components of our conference all the way up to making sure that terrorism and homeland security, domestic preparedness stay at the forefront of our minds. I've heard a lot about terrorism lately when it, when it comes to involving uh, fire service. What would you say when you look at the current state of the industry, I guess, if you will, uh, is the most biggest concern to you? Well, uh, terrorism and homeland security as a former member of that committee within the IAFC is something that is always on my mind. And, I, and while I'm thankful that uh, the events of 9-11 that kind of galvanized the fire service to be prepared for that sort of thing were are 16 years old. Th that's also a, a bit of a hindrance to us that we get apathetic towards those low frequency, high risk events. And uh, we, we need to make sure that we're doing everything we can to, to, to make sure that we battle apathy with, with fire service leaders because it's not, a, it's not just a big city thing. It's not uh, just a coastal thing. It's, uh, it's a problem because of homegrown violent extremists that can really manifest anywhere. And uh, so that's just one of many things that we have to accomplish next year. And this week, what are you looking forward to most? Well, um, right now I'm looking forward to a little bit of sleep uh, <laughs> Sunday night. But I think the, the best thing about FRI is that of all the conferences, this is, this is the leadership. These are the people that are going to make a difference and going to make decisions and show up to the meetings where things change. And so it's not only an opportunity for me to charge my battery, uh, it's a great time for me to meet people I've never seen before and I get to make their acquaintance and it's also uh, almost a reunion of friends and like-minded individuals. So, so this, is, uh, this is something that I look forward to every year regardless of whether I'm wearing an IAFC name badge. And you are wearing seersucker I am. also in honor, <laughs> so that's yes, good. Yes, <laughs> we're, we're, having, we're having to celebrate uh, yep. our, our longest serving board member, Luther Fincher. So yep. we're, we're, we're sad and delighted that he's uh, leaving in his hometown. So it's great. Chief Jenkins, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you.